Hello everybody, welcome back. Here is an update on the growth of my avocado plants. The last time I made a video was October, middle of October of 2019, and right now it's September 15, 2020. So it's been almost a year. Um, I neglected to do this over the summer uh, and spring, but um, you know, not a whole lot has changed other than this. So what happened here, uh, for this plant, I had wanted to plant it in ground. And in my backyard, the in-ground location that I had chosen is uh, in the sun. Uh, it had direct, has direct sunlight for about, you know, almost all day. So I had, put, uh, took, I had taken this pot, um, brought it outside, and let it sit for uh, a couple of days uh, where I had forgotten about it and had to do other stuff. And when I had gone back out, I uh, noticed that all the leaves here were burnt. So um, I took it back out here and put it back into the shaded area in my uh, front, in front of my house. Uh, this play, this site doesn't have direct sunlight. It's all indirect. I have an overhang here, uh, up here, and uh, it, it's, it's, these plants have always been here, except this one where I have brought out. So i um, not sure if, uh, um, it needs seasoning to be in the direct sun or doesn't like it to be doesn't like to be out there for more than a certain amount of time but um you know, it, this is limiting my growth opportunity for these because uh, unless i get bigger pots i don't think these have grown uh, taller at all but let's go through it one by one and uh, uh, so this one like i mentioned uh was brought out i think these are new growths over here uh, I had wanted to trim off uh, these leaves, but I wanted to uh, record these before I trimmed it off. So uh, that's why uh, prompt, that's what prompted me to make the video today. So um, I'll go trim these off. Now this one uh, probably, uh, or well, don't know what's happening with the tips of these uh, leaves here because uh, it looks it looks like the burnt leaves here. But uh, I didn't move this. This has been here all the time. So uh, I think someone commented in one of my other videos that this can be indicative of uh, a disease or something. But uh, what I'll do is I'll, 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 trim, I'll either trim the entire leaf off or trim off the uh, brown spots here and um, see how it, it does over the winter and uh, the spring and summer when I do my next video. Okay, so uh, this has uh, two stalks growing out. Check this out. Okay, so it, it's, it's growing two parts here. Uh, the shell has already broken off, so this is just the main main stem in here. Uh, just like, oh, uh, actually, the, these are still here, but it will probably fall off eventually. Now this one, the third one, the label number three, looks like the best out of all of them. So these leaves here look nice and healthy. They're still, uh, actually I think, um, uh, insects have gotten to this, but the leaves are nice and thick and uh, they're robust as well. Uh, I guess a couple of them are drooping over here, but uh, you know, if you notice over here, these are drooping some more. Okay, so this one so far I think is, is uh, in the best shape out of all of them. And okay, this shell is still here, but it's about to be break, broken off. This one, the shell has all broken off. Actually, this side here is broken. This side's still intact, but um, you know most of these leaves here are drooping. So uh, these plants are in the same position as they were when I first planted them. So if you want to go back through my videos uh, to see what kind of soil solution, uh, soil uh, mixture uh, was for these, um, uh, we can figure out uh, what made this so good. So yeah, these were the new leaves, and it looks like there's more coming out. And this one here, uh, these weren't new. These were here for a while. Uh, some of these leaves are new. Uh, again, uh, some brown spots on this one and more droopy leaves over here. And this very first one here uh, has been, I guess, ex more exposed to the uh, wind because uh, um, I guess if you look at here, this is kind of uh, slant, uh, slanted to the side. I, I, I turned this around because um, I think uh, in the winter time when it was turned the other way, the wind had blown it so that it leans, it leans uh, uh, that way. But uh, it looks like there's some insect uh, damage here. But 
Uh, overall, um, I think this is still okay, just as this overall is good. The older leaves on the bottom are sagging, but um, I guess that's normal. So same with this as well. Okay, so these don't look like they have grown any taller. Uh, and that may be a limitation due to the uh, size of the pot. So, you know, again, as I was saying, I had wanted to put these in the ground, uh, in the soil, but uh, had to find a location that is not as, uh, uh, that doesn't get direct sun. And I don't want to put it here because it's right next to the house, and I don't want uh, an avocado tree growing next to the house. And one last thing is I introduced this one, my last video. It's the Rodea japonica. Um, it's a very slow growing plant. I think it's grown a little since the, the last video, but um, yeah, it looks like it's, it's uh, doing well. It's kind of, it, it's, it's very firm down there. So um, I think I repotted this. I loosened the soil a little bit uh, to allow maybe the roots to grow a little easier. So hopefully this will uh, continue to grow bigger. Anyway, this is it. This is the status of my uh, avocado plants uh, almost one year uh, after my last one. So if anyone has any uh, insight into uh, and why at least this one is uh, growing brown, is it disease or what, um, you please let me know in the comments. I have fertilized these early in the year. Um, don't remember what kind of fertilizer, but uh, they recommend you sprinkle it around the, you know, around the edges here. So I, I just sprinkled it around, around the edges over here, um, all the plants, and um, uh, don't know if it made any difference, um, especially on this one. But uh, anyway, that is it for today. And um, if you have any comments on on how I can uh, fix these. Please let me know. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll talk with you all next time.